Hello everyone, my name is Genesis and today I will be conducting you through a warm-up. So go ahead and feel free to have a bottle of water on the side um, and take as many breaks as you like and we're going to go ahead and get started. So for the first exercise, we're going to go ahead and interlock our arms behind our back and really pull out with our chest, really opening up that chest, adding a little march here. Really squeezing that back to really open up that chest. Good job. We're going to hold it here for about 10 more seconds. And five, four, three, two, one. We're going to go ahead and go into what's called a T-raise. So go ahead and stand at about shoulder width position with your knees slightly bent, like so. And we're going to go ahead and hold our um, palms outward. And we're going to go straight up and make that T-shape and come down. And when we come down, we're going to turn those palms inward. And we're going to go ahead and hit our shoulders as well and do a dumbbell fly. So we're going to go ahead and do outward come back in and upward come back in good job again if you want to up the intensity you feel more than welcome to incorporate some dumbbells with this exercise make sure that we are taking this nice and slow and going at a nice and steady pace making sure that our backs are nice and flat. Good job. A couple more here, and then we'll move right into the next exercise. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. So now we're going to go ahead and do what's called a eagle pose. So we're going to take our right arm and hold it out like so. And we're going to go ahead and intertwine our left arm, bringing it back so that our palms meet together. And we're going to go ahead and stretch out that back. So again, we can add a march here to keep that heart rate going. Really focusing on this stretch. We're going to hold it here for about 10 more seconds. Make sure you're really focusing on your breathing to concentrate on that stretch to get the full effect. And five, four, three, two, one. Good job. So now we're going to go ahead and do what's called a bicep curl. So we're going to stand about Again, in a shoulder width position with our knees slightly bent. We're going to hold our palms right by our side. And we're going to go ahead and push up and come back down. And push up and come back down. <clears throat> really want to make sure we focus on um, our rhythm as we go up and down. Really focusing on that contraction in the bicep. We also want to make sure that our elbows are nice and tight next to our core <clears throat> and that they're not wobbling around. If you'd like to lower the intensity, go ahead and do one curl at a time. <clears throat> We're going to hold this here for about 10 more seconds. Again, take this as slow or as fast as you'd like. This is your class. You make the rules. Good job. And five, four, three, two, one. Now going straight into a overhead extension. So we're going to hold those arms behind our head and we're going to go just straight up and back down and straight up and back down. Really concentrating on that contraction in the tricep. If you'd like to lower the intensity, go ahead and do one arm at a time. 
hand again. All these exercises can be um, can weights be added to. Good job. We're halfway there. Keep it up, everyone. Make sure you're breathing. In five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're going to go ahead and stretch out those triceps that we just worked out. And we're going to go ahead and bring our right arm back and pull it with our left, holding it here for 10 seconds. Good job, everyone. Make sure you're breathing in and out. Trying not to pull so tight on that joint. And five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and switch to the next arm. Pulling it back again, stretching for it to a slight comfort, not pain. Good job. Just a couple more seconds here. And five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and bring those arms up, shake them out a little bit. And we're gonna go ahead and bring our right arm over across our chest, um, holding it back with our left, stretching out that shoulder, that, and making sure that we don't put pressure on our joint. Either put pressure above or below the joint. Good job, hold it here for a couple more seconds. You can add a march if you'd like, keep that blood flow going. And five, four, three, two, one, go ahead and switch. Keep that march going. Again, above or below the joint, never apply pressure directly on it. Halfway there. And five, four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna go ahead and go straight into a squat. So we're gonna go ahead and stand about shoulder width apart. And we're gonna go push with our bum backwards as far as we can. Squatting down and coming back up. And as we come up, we're gonna go ahead and add a side crunch to work those obliques. So we're again pushing back as far as we can, coming up and other side, side crunch. Again, when we do the squat, making sure that our backs are nice and flat and our chests are nice and tall and making sure those knees stay behind those toes. If you'd like to lower the intensity, you can do 45 degree squat instead of a 90. Keep up with that breathing, everybody. Halfway there. Good job. Five, four, three, two, and one. So now we're going to go ahead and go into a quad pull. So we're going to bring back that left, um, that left foot. We're going to hold it um, at the, not directly on the joint, and we're going to hold it here for about 15 seconds. If you need additional support, go for it and hold a chair, a wall, whatever you have near you. Really stretching out that quad. You should feel it right in here. Holding it here for five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and switch to the next leg. Again, holding above or below the joint, never on it. 
Good job, everyone. You guys are looking great. 10 more seconds. And five, four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna go straight into some calf raises. So we're gonna go ahead and stand at the edge of the mat if you have a mat, um, or you can just do this flat on um, ground surface. We're gonna go ahead and just raise up onto our tippy toes and come down and up and down. We're gonna do about 15 seconds of these. Really make sure you're focusing on that contraction at the top in our calves to really work out um, those calves. Good job, we're about halfway there. If you'd like to switch it up, you can go ahead and do a one footer like so. Um, we're almost there. Okay, and five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna now go into a leg raise. So staying in this um, shoulder width position with our hands by our hips, we're gonna go ahead and tap, swing out and come in and swing out, come in. We're gonna do about 10 of these on each side. If you'd like to lower the intensity, you're more than welcome to tap as you come back in. And if you'd like to up the intensity, go ahead and hover over the ground and swing without touching the ground. Five more. And three. Two, one, good job. Now going, switching to the next foot. Again, same thing here, hands on our hips or out to our sides, whatever you'd like. And tapping in the middle for a lower intensity or hovering over for higher intensity. Five more. Three, two, and one. All right, everyone. Now we're gonna go ahead and do a balance exercise. So we're gonna go ahead and do what's called a tree pose. So we're going to and put our hands on our hips and our foot right above our ankle, or if you'd like to up the intensity above our knee, um, never, we never want to apply pressure on the joint. And we're going to hold it here for about 10 seconds to help with balancing. Um, go ahead and focus on a spot on, um, a wall or wherever you like, and just breathe in and out and just try to focus. Five more seconds. Four three, two, and one. So now we're gonna go ahead and do the other foot. Again, same thing, above or below the joint. If you need additional support, feel more than welcome to hold on to a chair or a wall. Again, find that spot on that wall. Really focus on breathing. And five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, everyone. Now we're gonna go ahead and move to the ground. So we're gonna do what's called a push up. So we're gonna go ahead and um, for the lower modification, we're gonna go ahead and start on our knees. And if you'd like to do the higher intensity, go ahead and start on your toes. Um, we want to maintain a flat back and our arms at 90 degree angle and then making sure that we are not looking like a tabletop or we're slouching too much. We want to really make sure that we're nice and balanced. And we're going to do this for 10 more seconds. Good job, everyone. 
keep it up. You're almost there. Really make sure you keep it up. And five, four, three, two, and one. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and go onto our stomachs. And we're going to put our palms right next to our chest. And we're going to push up like so. And look up as high as you can. Really stretching out those obliques in that core. Holding it here for 10 more seconds. Good job, everyone. And five, four, three, two, one. <clears throat> now we're gonna push up onto our knees from this position. And we're gonna go backwards like so. And we're going to really stretch at that back in a child's pose position. Really concentrate on your breathing here. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Try to reach out with your palms, fingers as far as you can to really emphasize that stretch. Holding it here for 10 more seconds. In five, four, three, two, one. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and move to our side. And we're going to do a different form of leg raises to work a different part of our glutes. And we're going to bend our right knee over our left. And we're going to lift our left leg up. Really focusing on that leg going up and down. We really want to maintain it at a steady pace. We're gonna do about 10 more seconds of these. Good job, hang in there. And five, four, three, two, and one. Now go ahead and switch to the other side. We're gonna do the same thing with our right foot. Good job. About five more seconds here. Four, three, two, and one. Good job, everyone. Now we're gonna go ahead and turn onto our backs and we're gonna kick it off with some glute kicks. So we're gonna go ahead and have our feet about shoulder width apart on the ground with our knees bent. And we're going to push up with those glutes and back down, push up back down. We really want to make sure that at the top of those glute bridges, we want to squeeze those glutes <clears throat> to really emphasize that contraction on the glutes. We have about 10 more seconds here. Good job, everyone. Looking great. And five, four, three, two, one. Going in straight into some bicycle crunches. We're going to lift our feet off the ground with our heads as well. And we're gonna go ahead and do, extend our right leg and touch our right, our right elbow to our left knee. And like so, back and forth, alternating. 
acting like you're doing a bicycle motion. If you'd like to lower the intensity, feel more than welcome to do a regular crunch. Halfway there. Keep it up, everyone. Push through. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and go straight into some scissor kicks. So we're going to lay flat on our backs, lifting our feet about an inch off the ground, and we're going to go overlapping the right over the left and alternating back and forth. Again, to lower the intensity, go ahead and do a regular crunch. To also lower the intensity, you're more than welcome to put your hands under your glutes. Good job, everyone. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Now we're going to go ahead and sit up. And we're going to go ahead and do what's called um, a single leg toe reach. So go ahead and bend that left knee in and extend that right leg and go ahead and try to stretch um, as far as you can, trying to touch your toes. Again, stretching here to slight discomfort, but not pain. Good job, everyone. Holding it here for 10 more seconds, really feeling that stretch in those hamstrings. And then to stretch out those calves, really try to bring in that toe as close to you as possible so you can um, get a two-in-one with that hamstring and calf. Good job. And five, four, three, two, one. We're now going to go ahead and stay in this position and we're going to reach over to our right side, holding our left arm in place, really feeling that stretch in those obliques, holding it here for 10 more seconds, and five, four, three, two, one, go ahead and switch, bending that right knee, Extending that left leg. Again, go ahead and stretch as far as you can towards your toes. Making sure that your um, leg is nice and straight and flat up against the ground. Bringing in that toe as close to you as possible to get an emphasis on that calf stretch as well. 10 more seconds. And five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and reach over to that left side. Really stretching out those obliques, holding it here for 10 more seconds. And five, four, Three, two, and one. All right, go ahead and go into a figure four stretch, bringing that right foot over that left knee. Emphasizing on that stretch all around the glutes. Pushing forward a little bit if you need an extra stretch. Good job, everyone. Holding it here for 10 more seconds. And five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and switch to the left leg over your right knee. Again, to emphasize on that stretch, push a little bit forward. Holding it here for 10 more seconds. 
and five, four, three, two, one. Our last exercise today is gonna be a butterfly stretch. So go ahead and put your two feet together with those knees touching the ground as far as you can. Having that torso nice and straight. Really focusing on your breathing in and out. Good job, everyone. Holding it here for 10 more seconds. And five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and stand up. We're gonna go ahead and do two big deep breaths. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. All right, guys, we're going to end with 30 seconds of cardio, so go ahead and give me your all. This is to end it, to make you feel good and warmed up for your exercise after this. So we're going to go ahead and get started 30 seconds from now. Looking good, everyone. Push through. 20 seconds. Make sure you're breathing. Again, if you'd like to lower the intensity, feel more than welcome to do side jacks, like so. 10 more seconds. And five, four, three, two, one. All right, everyone, that concludes our workout for today. I hope you enjoyed it.